Hello, Strike9 here. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how you can go ahead and update your mobile installation file for either your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Um, the main reason why you want to go ahead and do this, <coughs> if you have updated to firmware 2.2, is because the mobile installation file uh, that we were using in firmware 2.1 is not really compatible with uh, firmware 2.2 as it brings up problems in iTunes where either users have problems backing up their applications that are already on their iPhone or iTouch to iTunes or iTunes does not want to uh, put the applications onto the user's device. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and turn on your device and select Cydia and when you first open Cydia it's going to go ahead and load uh, the repository packages, uh, the refreshing so go ahead and wait until it refreshes the packages and then go ahead and go over to manage and then select sources <clears throat> in the top right hand corner you're going to see edit go ahead and tap edit and then in the top left hand corner hit add now this is just for users who don't have this repository um, some might have it uh, it's the Haculo, Haculus um, repository if you don't have it then go ahead and type in http colon forward slash forward slash c y d i a dot h a c k u l o dot u s forward slash so it should read http colon forward slash forward slash cydia dot haculo dot u s forward slash if you're adding the repository go ahead and tap on add source uh... cydia will go ahead and refresh your repositories and add the packages from the haculus uh, repository and once it's done go ahead and hit the bottom uh, button that lets you go back to Cydia once you're back in the Cydia you can go ahead and tap on search in the top search bar you're gonna go ahead and type in lowercase m i capital P a t c h now what this is gonna do it's gonna bring up a package called mi patch firmware 2.2 from Haculus what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and tap on that package and then you can either wait till it loads or if you have a slower connection you can go ahead and hit the but install button on the top right hand corner it'll bring you to the confirm go ahead and confirm the download and it'll start downloading it it'll take anywhere from about five to ten seconds depending on your uh, wireless um, router speed wait until it finishes installing and then once it's done installing you can go ahead and hit the bottom uh, button where it says return to Cydia and you have done the update um, I would recommend going ahead and holding down the power button until you power off your device and then turning it back on to make sure that everything went smoothly. This is Strike9 and hope that helped you out.